This is the last in a three-part series about the Xynix Zinc 7000 and Micrium's MicroOS 3 real-time operating system. In the earlier parts, you saw how to create a hardware design and install and configure the MicroOS BSP. In this part, you will see how to program the AXI timer as a periodic interrupt source using the Micrium and Xynix drivers. To do so, you will write a simple task waiting on a semaphore to be signaled by the timer. For reference, the complete source files for these examples are available for download in the description below. To access the MicroCOS AXI Timer API, you must first include its header file. Then, the new task called Timer0 task must be declared, along with its task control block, stack, and the semaphore that will be used to signal the task from the ISR. You'll also need to declare an AXI Timer handle as well as the ISR function. This task, along with the semaphore, is created in the main task. OSM create is called first so that the semaphore is ready to be used when the timer task is launched. But then, the task is created with OS task create. To configure the timer, it must first be initialized. This is done by calling the axiTimer init function with the timer ID, in this case, zero. The return value is a handle to the timer that can be used to interact with that timer. For this example, the timer is configured as a periodic countdown timer. The callback is the ISR function that we'll see in a few minutes. It will be called when the timer interrupt is fired. Now, let's take a look at the timer zero task. A task in MicroOS 3 is a simple C function with one void pointer argument. In this example, the task prints a message at entry and then pens on the timer semaphore in a loop. When signaled, a message will be sent to the UART via the MicroCOS print function. Finally, we come to the interrupt service routine. Micrium drivers have ISRs with custom signatures unique to each driver. The AXI timer ISR takes as arguments the handle of the timer, as well as the timer number. The ISR simply posts the timer semaphore to signal the timer task when triggered. Finally, after all the configuration steps are done, our task and timer are ready to go. Running the application should display the timer signal message. Micrium drivers are provided only for selected peripherals. For most of the peripherals, you'll have to use Xynix drivers instead. To see how, we will redo this timer programming example using the Xynix driver. The main difference between the Micrium and Xynix drivers is that you must write and register the interrupt handler yourself. The ISR now takes the form of a standard ISR for the MicroCOS BSP. The ISR function takes as arguments a void pointer as well as the CPU ID of the interrupt source. Inside the ISR, the timer interrupt is cleared and then the timer semaphore is posted. The ISR must be registered and enabled. This is performed with the MicroOS interrupt vector set function and the MicroOS interrupt source enable function. Building and running this example will give a similar output as the first example. You are now ready to develop your own embedded application for the Zing 7000 using the Micrium RTOS. For more information, visit micrium.com/zing7000 for downloads and full documentation.